immediately it was kind of like, oh wow, did I really just see this? That's how Brian Gristar reacted after witnessing this traffic accident on I-279 in Ohio Township, about a mile north of the Camp Horn Road exit. The driver of the SUV, 25-year-old Kristen Brown of Sewickley, was killed in the mishap. Gristar, who was on his way to work downtown and was a few car lengths behind Brown's vehicle, was shaken by what he saw. She landed on northbound uh, 279, the road. She actually was ejected and landed. I s actually saw her land on the road and there was no movement after after the impact. The vehicle was traveling southbound, which time the driver lost control of the vehicle from traveling at an unsafe speed from what I could determine right now. Uh, the vehicle skidded. Uh, several hundred feet before it left the roadway, crossed the medial and rode over approximately three times. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected through the sunroof. Brown's one-year-old baby in a child's safety seat in the SUV was not seriously hurt. The accident left traffic backed up for miles. In December, in almost the same spot, 18-year-old Stephanie Albert was killed when she crossed the median and hit a southbound car. Police said Albert was not wearing a seatbelt. 42-year-old Patrick Wirtz of Seven Fields died a week later when he went over an embankment near the Perrysville exit. Why so many bad accidents along this stretch of highway? When you come out of that last curve, you got that straightaway between there and your next curve down by the Camp Horn exit, and people just, I guess, open it up and go. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.